In this tutorial, we'll create a video file and publish it on YouTube. The first step is to create an output file using the DivX codec. So what is DivX and why use it? To answer that, let's go to the DivX website. DivX is a video codec that can be accessed from most popular video editors such as ULEADS Video Studio. DivX can create high quality output files from virtually any source such as Live Capture, DVD, DV, MPEG-1, MPEG-2 or AVI. And you can export any of these to DivX Video. We're using DivX because it's an impressive codec that produces small files of high quality. The second reason for using DivX is because YouTube highly recommends this format. The DivX codec comes in two flavors. There's the free version which is known as the Community Edition and then there's the commercial version called DivX Pro. The free version does a pretty good job, but the Pro version does unlock some advanced configuration features. Everything we'll show you in this tutorial will work pretty well in the free version of the codec. So click here to download the codec. Once you've downloaded the file, just run the exe and follow the wizard to install the DivX codec. We've already installed the codec, so we'll skip this step. Now let's get back to our Video Studio Editor and produce our first DivX encoded video. We'll open the Ken Burns project that we created in an earlier tutorial. We now want to output this slideshow as a DivX movie file. So to do that, we first need to set our project properties. From the File menu, select Project Properties. From the Edit File Format drop list, we'll select Microsoft AVI. This step is very important because the DivX option will not appear in the Edit step if you select MPEG. Now click Edit and go to the AVI tab. From the Compression drop list, select the DivX 6.4.0 codec. We can further customize DivX by clicking on Configure. Let's quickly go through the options. This is the quality slider. Setting it to the far left will give you the fastest compression, while setting it to the far right will give you the highest quality. Higher quality also increases the file size, so let's take the middle road and set it to 5. Now from the rate control drop list, we'll pick one pass. You also have the option of using these multi-pass settings which always yield better quality video. So try and use the multi-pass nth pass option and it will give you very good results. But to keep it simple, we'll use the one pass option in this tutorial. We'll leave the bitrate to the default value of 780. And we'll also leave all the default settings on the codec and the video tabs. Click OK. Now click the General tab. We'll select the frame size of 320 by 240 since this is the recommended frame size for YouTube videos. Now click OK and we're back in our Project Properties dialog. Now these are the final output properties. We're encoding to a DivX AVI file with a frame size of 320 by 240 at 29.97 frames per second. We'll click OK and OK again on the warning message. Now to output the file, click the Share step. And from the Create Video File option, we'll select Same as Project Settings. Let's call our file KenBurns.AVI. Then click Save. Now Video Studio is rendering the file. Once the file is rendered, the video will start to play. Let's stop the video. Now that we're ready to upload our video, we'll go to the YouTube website. If you haven't already registered, sign up for a YouTube account here. We've already got an account, so let's log in.
Next, click on My Account. Then click on Upload New Video. As you can see here, YouTube recommends videos encoded in the DivX format. We'll enter Ken Burns Effect as the title. Enter a description, My First Video Studio DivX Output. Now for the tags, we'll enter some keywords that users are likely to search by. We'll enter ULead space Video Studio space Ken Burns space and then Slideshow. Note that the keywords are separated by spaces, not commas. Select Arts and Animation as our category. We'll pick English as the language and then click Go Upload a File. Now click the Browse button and select your video file. As you can see here, our file just got selected. We'll keep our file public, which means everyone can view it. Now click Upload Video. As you can see, our video upload is in progress. And now that our video has been successfully uploaded, we'll go see our video. And here is our video. Now let's say you want to show this video on your website or personal blog. All you have to do is put this URL on your website. We already have a blog site on WordPress.com, so let's go there. So here's our blog site and we're already logged in as administrator. We'll click on My Dashboard. Now to post a blog, we'll click on the right button. Now enter Ken Burns Effect for the title. Click on the Code tab. Type open square bracket, YouTube, then the equal to sign, and then close square bracket. Make sure there are no spaces. And highlight the Ken Burns video URL and copy it into our clipboard. Now we'll go back to our blog site and paste the URL after the equal sign. Again, make sure there are no spaces. Now click on Publish, and you can see here that it's in progress. As you can see, our post has been published. We'll click on View Site to see our video. Now click Play. And there's our video. There is another way to embed your video. To demonstrate this, we'll go to our blog site on blogger.com. Here, we've already logged into our blog site. And while posting the video, all you have to do is go back to YouTube and take this block of HTML code and paste it into the editor's HTML view on our blogger site. Once you publish, your blog appears like this. And this is our blog site called seeitdoit.blogspot.com. And here is our first embedded video example. So that's how you upload your video to YouTube and access it from your blog site. And that's all there is to it. And finally, one more thing. Telling a story through a video is much more effective than words. No wonder video blogging is emerging as the next revolution on the internet. So try it out and use Video Studio to explore this fascinating world of video blogging.